Hello, and welcome to the pre recorded presentation for the Dunlop Street Interchange Trunk Sanitary Relocation Project located within the city of Barrie. My name is Rachel Graham. I'm the engineering project manager for this project, and I work with the developer and special projects team. As I mentioned, this is for the Dunlop Street Interchange Trunk Sanitary Relocation Project that's scheduled to start construction June 2023 and will take approximately a year to complete. In this presentation, we're going to discuss the Dunlop Interchange Replacement that the Ministry of Transportation will be undertaking, the existing conditions, Dunlop Trunk Sanitary Relocation Project, including the design phase, the construction sequencing, forced forecasted timing, and impacts. We're going to discuss the traffic management, driveway accesses, transit impacts, communication updates, project budgets, and if there's any questions, how to reach the city. The Dunlop Interchange Replacement Project was started with the ministry back in 2004 with an environmental study report. It was updated in 2017. And in their design, they show that the existing trunk sanitary sewer that's located in the third picture in highlighted in green is in conflict with their new bridge placement. As such, we, the city, need to remove and relocate our trunk sanitary sewer. The ministry is currently at a 60% design phase. The utility relocations are underway. We are one of the first to get going for the utility relocations. There'll be others, Electra, Enbridge, Bell and Rogers that will be um, going forth after us. So there will be relocations happening in 2023 to the spring of 2024. MTO is anticipating that they will start their construction in the spring of 2024, and it will take approximately four years to complete. Any updates to their project will be done through their website. This image shows the existing conditions for Dunlop and our truck sanitary sewer. So the sewer itself, which is the dark purple, it runs along Edge Hill. It runs between 131 and 125 Edge Hill. It goes through the Cedar Point Plaza and it runs parallel to the highway crossing 400 and Dunlop to connect to Hart Drive. This sewer is in conflict with the ministry's works and as such the city needs to remove it and relocate it and that's part of this project. So the design phase for this project started in 2021. Associated engineers were the selected uh, consultants to complete the design. We have progressed to the tender submission. The tender is currently on bids and tenders and is going to close May 24th of 2023. The construction is anticipated to start in June and will take approximately a year to complete. So getting into the construction, the overview of construction, we're going to talk about the sequencing, the traffic impacts, access to businesses and property owners, and the transit impacts. This demonstrates the work zone for the project. We're going to be starting on Hart Drive, which is located south of Dunlop, west of Ann Street. We're going to be doing open cut installation of the sanitary sewer along Hart Drive, connecting to our launch shaft area, which is going to be located directly in front of Comfort Inn. We're going to be crossing the 400 through microtunneling and exiting at the Cedar Point and Dunlop intersection. We're going to be installing new sanitary sewer along Cedar Point Drive. We're going to be working right northerly until we get to Edge Hill. 
and then complete the rest and the remaining works on Edge Hill, including some storm sewer installation. Starting at our launch shaft, we're going to be at Heart Drive for approximately a month or so. And we're going to be installing the sediment erosion controls firstly. We're going to construct a temporary lane widening. We're going to be installing the sanitary sewer. The open cut sanitary sewer from Diamonds Creek to the launch shaft will be done open cut. There will be some lane restrictions during our, our construction hours. When we get to the launch shaft area, they're going to be installing construction fence, a noise barrier wall. They'll be preparing the ground for the microtelling works. Once the launch shaft is completed, they will start the microtelling. Afterwards, this area will be restored to existing conditions or better. The asphalt within our work zone will be milled, which means they're going to take a, about 50 millimeters of existing asphalt on top and replacing it with new asphalt. This next slide provides a bird's eye view of our project at the launch shaft. So the highlighted or the hatched area in yellow to your left, that is the location of our launch shaft area. We will be providing two through lanes at all times during heart drive, so we won't be impacting traffic. There may be a temporary access for comfort in. This itself we anticipate will be June, July, August of this year. Once the launch shaft is done, they'll be working on the retrieval shaft, which is going to be located on Cedar Point and Dunlop Street interchange. We're going to be in the north west corner of the intersection. We will be implementing a detour route and diverting Cedar Point through traffic to access Edge Hill via the Ann Street and Edge Hill Drive. This detour will not occur until Ann Street Bridge is open. We will install a temporary traffic signal. We'll be setting up the staging area for the retrieval shaft. We'll be completing some staging works for Diamonds Creek in preparation for the microtelling. We'll be installing construction fencing, barricades, including gates. We need to remove a section of water main in order to install the shaft. There will also be some pedestrian impacts. The northwest sidewalk will be closed temporarily. We'll be detouring our pedestrians to utilize the south sidewalk on Dunlop and the east sidewalk on Cedar Point Drive. Once we're out of the retrieval shaft area, this area will be restored and opened up to all traffic. We'll be completing a sanitary bypass pumping to maintain the flows, complete the microtelling works, and start the sanitary installation up Cedar Point Drive within the staging area. This whole area will be restored to existing conditions or better. So this demonstrates our traffic impacts to this location. So Dunlop itself will remain open with one through lane in each direction. A left turn lane will be provided to access the MTO southbound route. There'll be no through traffic to Cedar Point and any access to Cedar Point will be via the detour route. Access to the businesses will remain open at all times. Along Cedar Point, most of these businesses have multiple driveways. As we progress northerly, if one driveway is impacted, the other one will be open. And we will not impact the second imp driveway unless that first one has been restored. This demonstrates the detour route that we're going to use when we are at Cedar Point and Dunlop at the retrieval shaft. Traffic will use Dunlop, Ann Street, 
and Edge Hill Drive to access Cedar Point Drive. As we make our way up Cedar Point Drive and we get close to Edge Hill, we will be closing Edge Hill Drive and Cedar Point intersection. We have to remove and relocate some storm sewers and install the new sanitary sewer. This is scheduled to take a couple months to complete as well. At this time, when Cedar Point and Edge Hill is closed, we'll be diverting traffic to either use Ann Street to Dunlop or Ferndale to Dunlop, depending on which side uh, you are located. Cedar Point Drive will be open and all access movements at Cedar Point and Dunlop will be restored. There are three transit routes that will be impacted with this project. We have Route 5, Route 6, and Route 7. Route 5 currently runs along Edge Hill Drive. When we have closed Cedar Point and Edge Hill Drive, then that route will be diverted to access Ferndale, Dunlop, and Ann Street as shown. When we are closing Cedar Point and Edge Hill, as well as when we are closing Dunlop and Cedar Point, Route 6 will be impacted and the detour route will take Edge Hill, Dunlop, uh, Ferndale, and then Dunlop. Route 7 will not have any impacts. There will be no detours, but there might be some slower service as it's making its way through the um, construction zone. Project communications. So all inquiries will be responded within two business days by either phone or through email. The city has set up a special email just for this project, Dunlop Trunk Sanitary Relocation at barry.ca. I, as the project engineer, will be addressing any inquiries for this project. If there's any emergencies, it will be escalated to senior management within four hours. We do have a uh, Dunlop Trunks Bridge Sanitary Relocation website, which will be updated regularly to let you know the progress and the status of the project as we are progressing through construction. So this project itself will take approximately a year to complete. The total construction cost is forecasted to cost about $11 million. This is going to be a cost share with between the City of Barrie and the Ministry of Transportation. I do thank you for the time to listen to this presentation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send an email to the Dunlop Trunk Sanitary Relocation at barry.ca, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great day.